name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Uh, always our pleasure being with you in the lead episodes. In this group of discussion, we are going to hear from these guys how to hate others. You know, it's a very interesting question, you know. What can you make so that others can hate you? So, basically, what can you do so that others will hate you? So, how to hate others and how to make others hate you? So, we are, have a group of haters here. So, they are going to teach us how to hate others around us. Okay, please introduce your name. Uh, my name is Amir Tadros. I think uh, probably the easiest way to make someone hate you is to be very controlling. I mean, if you're calling yourself a leader and that's what you're supposed to be doing, yet you want everything to be done your certain way, and if someone does it wrong, you come in and do it yourself, and you come in and fix everything, I mean, that's not working. It's just one person doing everything, and it's not really a team. So being like a micromanager, I think that's probably the easiest way to get someone to hate you because it shows that you don't trust them. You don't think that they're capable of doing what they are basically maybe getting paid or supposed to be we're supposed to be responsible of doing you know Amir is giving us a shortcut so in order to hate like if you anyone want to be hate by anyone just be controller that's it you will be fine <laughs> okay <laughs> introduce your name please my name is Thomas Assad and um, although it's very hard for me to be hated because everyone <laughs> loves me in a hypothetical situation uh, one thing that could easily get anyone to hate you is having pride so thinking you're the best and like say if we're talking in a company thinking that you're the best and you're the only person that's able to like carry out the plan or anything like that it's going to be very easy to be hated just just because you have that pride it, it takes like like a, a humble person in order to be a good leader you know what actually thomas in uh, proverbs chapter 15 verse 25 god said that god destroys the house of pride so it is Really, and this is how others can hate you easily. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yeah, introduce your name, please. I'm uh, Christopher Metry. Yes, yeah, And uh, I think, uh, like, like I'll say, like there's a manager, and if he doesn't treat his employees, everyone the same, then like no, they're, they're, there's going to be like tension between the people that the are going to make they're, the they're going to make them hate hate the manager and make them hate each other too yeah yeah yep. so it's like you know you mean like it will be a complete destruction to the team yeah not just between two exactly between the whole team yeah that's a very good point so please share with us if like someone did something that really makes you i'm not saying hate because we don't hate but like that like makes you feel uncomfortable dealing with that person what someone did for you so that you feel, you know what, I, wanna, I don't want to be in contact with that person. I remember being at my first job and it was like me just starting, like, like maybe the first week. And whenever I, did, whenever I did something wrong, he would just like get mad at me and in front of the customers just like take whatever I'm doing and then do it himself. And then just have me like go back, go to the back. So it kind of shows that I'm not embarrassed, capable. Embarrassed, like yeah. embarrassed in front of everyone. Yeah, basically yeah. in front of the customers too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. What about you, Thomas? Okay, so uh, it was uh, right before Holy Week. We were uh, learning the hymn Kebertu. Yeah. And uh, we spent a very long time learning it. And while we were finally saying it in um, during uh, the Basha, uh, one of uh, my servants leans over to me and says, "Did you pay any attention?" during the hymns lessons although i love the servant he, i truly love the uh, the servant but it, it kind of hurt my feelings when he said that but we ended up working it out and yeah yeah and you pay attention <laughs> yeah, sometimes <laughs> trying to pay attention what about you chris um in one of my jobs uh so i started working and then i noticed that the manager would always uh talk about other employees like uh. Gossip. behind their backs right and like this person did this and this and this and they're so whatever and all this stuff and then it would make me uncomfortable to be around my manager because he's going like, to talk back about you yeah exactly, exactly <laughs> that's a good one yeah thank you so much for that you know now we have great tips for us to help others to hate us and to hate others as well thank you so much for being with us in this group let's go and see how to hate others professionally. You know, this is something good. Thank you so much. In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Always our pleasure being with you in lead. Lead episodes. Be the one, lead the way. We are going to talk 
today about something very important. We have to apply it together, how to hate others. So we're going to be training you today how to hate others. You know what? I'm going to tell you in a sarcastic way how to hate others. Don't use this because you may be using this. Non intentionally. I'm sure of that. But you may be using it. How to hate others? There are four ways. It's called four A's. Four A's. The first one is called ascription of intelligence. Ascription of intelligence. What does it mean? Ascription of intelligence. Ascription of intelligence is basically to deal with others around you that they are stupid. Silly. Crazy people. You are the only one who is like highly intelligent with that very high IQ. That's how to make people hate you. So, for people to hate you, four A's. The first A's is ascription of intelligence. The second one is assumption of criminal status. As if people are criminals by nature and that if you have something negative for them, you are going to... It's assumption. Assumption and you put it. So if the first one is ascription of the intelligence of others, the second one is assumption of criminal status. All people are criminals. They are not good. They are not good. The third A. Any other value is wrong except mine. Mine is the only way which is good, right? Any other value is not good. All my values are the best, but any other value is not. Remember, we're talking how to hate others. How to make others hate you and you hate them. So, ascription of intelligence, assumption of criminal status, and any other values are wrong except mine. Fourth A, attitude of second line creature. As if you are like dealing with someone less than you. If you want to hate others and you make others hate you, please use them, give them attitude. As if they are low and you are in a better position and better place than them. Who in the Bible did that? I'll tell you. Saul, in the Old Testament, he did that with David. He used the four A's with him. Criminal status and the ascription of the intelligence and all the values of David are wrong. And moreover, dealing with him as if a second line creature. Not a human being even. So please, focus on the four A's. I'm going to review for you. Ascription of intelligence, assumption of criminal status, any other values are wrong except mine, attitude of second line creature. Which A you are using frequently? Please answer this question to yourself. Which A you are using it frequently? Because if you are using it frequently, believe me, that's the key. And you are on track to hate others and let others hate you. Hope not to use that. We are here to serve others around us, to develop, to grow together. Whoever desires to become first among you shall be your servant. Mark 10, 43. Be the one, lead the way in a lovely way, not to hate each other. Thank you so much for being with us in this episode. Looking forward for our next episode. Thank you. To lead you must serve, inspire by your example. To teach you must learn before your visions are reality. What, what you preach so you can lead the way. To lead you must listen, be open to new ideas, admit your mistakes to earn the trust of all who follow what you preach so you can